Okay, so um, I've got my tissue watch again. Um, it's been about three years or so since I last changed the battery on it. Um, it's coming up with a low battery um, error now, so I'm going to re-do um, the video again with the same battery, same watch. Um, hopefully be able to get a bit more detail in this video for people who, um, who want to do the battery themselves. Um, save themselves a lot of money. Uh, if you take it to a jewellery shop they normally charge about £80 for doing one of these watches for some reason and they're pretty straightforward. All you need is a jeweller's screwdriver, um, a correct battery which I bought a pack of 10 on Amazon for about a fiver. They're CR2032. Um, these ones are Duracell. I only ever use Duracell. Um, I find that they don't leak and they're the best um, quality. I also use them in the cameras as well, never had any problems. So I've got my batteries, I've got my watch, I've got my paper. Let me just grab a pen in case I need to make any notes. So I've got my, my watch here, uh, which is the Tissue Touch. It's the titanium edition. My wife got me this for my 40th birthday, so it's come up to 10 years old now. I've only had to change the battery once on it before, which was the previous video um, a couple of years ago doing that. So I'm going to um, have another crack at it. So first thing I need to do is to take the I've done it this way last time. Take the strap off just to give yourself a bit more room. So I'm going to undo the strap and then turn it over onto its back like so. There's four screws. It's got the design facing this way so I want to try and make sure that I remember how it comes apart so I'll put it back the same way. Just put a bit of pressure on the back of here so it doesn't move. Unscrew these. Take your time, you don't want to be cross threading or taking the top of the screw off because that would be a nightmare. I'm going to be um, giving this watch an ultrasonic clean. Probably going to do that tomorrow so we can see the difference in that. The screw that was not very good. Try this one. Yeah. Obviously, made sure that they were proper tight because at the end of the day, it is a waterproof watch. You don't want to be getting water in it and ruining it. So, there's the four screws. One side for the moment. There we go, we've got the four screws. They're all the same length. So, this is the part that you got to remember if you notice as well. There's some dust that's got inside here because obviously the back of this is open because it's a temperature sensor. So, all I do is same as last time, uh, just going to draw. Draw myself the back of the watch like so. There's a strap. We got one button there, one button there, one button there. You've got a screw hole here, a screw hole here, a screw hole here, a screw here, and that back that hole lines up just to the left side of that screw there. Okay, so next thing is to take this off. There is a rubber in there, you want to make sure that you keep that in place. As you can see, it's a little bit dusty. Obviously, over the, over the years, it's got dust on that in it. Just give it a blow. Uh, 
see there is obviously the contacts what connect to the um, inside of the watch inside there so the next thing to do is to take the uh, battery out again being very careful Do it, it's thinner. Undo this, take your time, don't rush it, you don't want to be losing any parts. Snip that off there, put that down there. And there's the battery, so you need to prise it out, but be really careful. Just grab that corner. Put it out, and there we go. So this one hasn't got a plastic cover on it. I remember the last watch I did, my other tissue watch, it had a plastic, oh it has, it's on that side. Right, so this is important. I think I had a question on this before on one of the other batteries. It's got this part here which insulates this part of the battery and just leaves this part actually making contact, which then links up to this little part inside there. It leaves that open. So let's get the battery out. We really only batteries, a lot of these fit car remote controls, etc. Just take the one out. Try it if you can to have as little con skin contact with the battery as possible because you're gonna have acids on your hands that's another thing obviously make sure your hands are clean before you start doing this you don't want to be getting um, grease etc on it right so it's got a protection on it anyway if I can get it out I might need a pair of scissors put it here okay it is dangerous. Don't let your children get hold of them. If they swallow one of these, it could be really bad news. So, chop that off. So I'm not touching the battery. Flipping it over. So that's the plus side, which is that side. So. Now I need to peel off the back of this. Like so, keep that to one side. Take this one, peel that off. This is slightly different. If you notice, this one's got a texture on it. I'm not too sure why. Line it up in the middle. Pushing it down, but I'm making sure that I'm not actually touching the battery itself. So now I want to try and flip this over and have it so that that actually that's what I'm going to do, make it easier for myself. I'm going to get the actual bit of plastic and I'm going to put that in first, so that actually might make it a little bit easier. So if I line that up like so, and I've got to worry about anything, grab the battery. You need to take your time with this. I think I need to get this end in first. I don't really want to be touching that battery, but hey ho, right. you can wear gloves. Now this has got to go back in, 
which went in Screw this one. It's really fiddly. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this in here first. Right, sorry for the lack of talking there, wanted to make sure I concentrate. Just going to flip the watch over, and there you go, you can see that's working. Obviously, I'm going to have to adjust the time, etc., which I'll do in a minute. So now I just want to put this back on. I'm just going to give that. Dearly, you want to give this a proper clean before you put it back on. I'm going to put it through an ultrasonic cleaner tomorrow, so all this dust is going to come off anyway. <laughs> right, so this was... I think it's going to line up anyway because it's got the shape cut out. And make sure that your rubber is all the way around properly, this gasket, because obviously this is what stops the water coming in. I'm no jeweler, so if you're going to follow this, do it at your own risk. I'm not going to be held responsible if someone mucks up their watch. And on the back. Like a car, you don't tighten them all the way out to start with. I'm just putting them in until they get a grip, and then I'm going to tighten them up more opposite to try and get the flattest pressure across the whole back. Okay, so the tights, I'm just going to go over and tweak them up. I'm going to do opposite corner to opposite corner, try not to strip the thread, strip the top. Okay, so that's done. Now I just need to flick this back in here. This is really dirty, but I wear it every day. Well, not every day, but I wear it a lot, as you can see. It's got a load of dust on that in it. Definitely clean. So, let's 
stick this side in first. That's lined up. Let's get my little screwdriver. it's all in place okay so now if I press and hold the button should do the metro that shows you it's working if it wasn't I'm pretty sure it would come up with some error because the um, parts not attached obviously all this all my um, there's your compass And obviously you're going to need to, it's going to need calibrating. Right, so to do the time, let's get a bit. Right, so I'm going to press and hold the button. Press the middle until it comes up with options. Click that and we go beep on, you can beep sleep. So you can what I'd recommend is putting it onto sleep mode when you're not in use. See that's flashing and you go into sleep mode. And then obviously that's going to save your battery. So if you're putting your watch away, and then all you do is when you click it back up, click on that, and it works straight away. So let's just um, try and remember how to do the. Here's a date. So it's the 24th. Oh, what did I go? So press and hold that button there. Press and hold it, it goes through the months and then it goes through the years. 20. Right, so then press it again and it should do the date, it's correct. Press it again, hold it, it should do the month. for the third 20 so that's set it's a pain to set it compared to other watches but hey ho the next thing I want to do is actually get the um, time set so press and hold it is two th 
shall we? There we go. Let me just check I've done it on PM and not AM. Okay, so the time set. Twenty-four hour clock. The date on it. There we go. So we're all set. Done and dusted. Took me probably about fifteen minutes. So that's including setting up, faffing around and all that. Because um, I ain't done one for a while. I'm probably going to end up having to do the other watch. Because I think I've done them about a year apart. So this is going to need doing soon as well. So yeah, hopefully this video has been of some help. And it's going to help you kill a bit of time through this virus business. Um, please be safe. And hopefully this video has been of some help. If you're into sport, have a look on the channel. There's plenty of um, sporting videos. And the other thing is, please be careful how you dispose of the batteries. All batteries should be disposed of correctly. Do not throw them in with your recycle. Because if the dumper truck which is picking up the recycle scratches the battery and it comes into contact with paper, it could cause a fire which has happened before, so be responsible how you destroy or get rid of your batteries. Normally there is a place where you can um, put the battery into like a little pot, places like PC World and other electrical stores normally have a pot where you can put your old batteries in, I'd recommend putting them in there. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to where I got these batteries. As I say, I bought 10, I think it was £5.99. Um, when I originally got a quote for this to get done at a jeweler shop, um, it was an official shop obviously, they wanted to charge me £80. Now, I that was however many years ago. Uh, this is the second battery I put in, I've had no problem with the, with the watch, it's been got wet etc. Um, I've had no problems, as you can see it's been worn a lot, it's pretty scratched up and dirty. Obviously the face isn't scratched because it's made out of... Um, Sapphire, um, I really like this watch, it's nice weight as well because it's titanium, uh, also like the other one I've got, um, if you've got any questions feel free to ask, if I can answer them I will, if I don't I'll try and pass you on to someone who can or a video what will give you some more information, so there you go, hopefully this has been of some help and I'll see you in the next video.